Goosebumps is rated West. Because it may be too spooky for kids. Hello, Goosebumps fans. Paparina did it again. Squid Jib didn't. We'll most likely have to wait for that. But while we wait for them to actually do How to Kill a Monster, we talk about Haunted Mask 2. So this is going to be the spinoff videos. I guess what we really should talk about is the inconsistencies from the first book to the second book. Because, my gosh, there's some inconsistencies. They're really good. Ones. There is some crazy ones. Unlike what happened with Spider, Spider got taken out. So that makes sense. And the store is gone. And the place that he lived in is gone. Yeah. Meanwhile, this one, the store is still there, but the store is now closed, like officially closed. And it's like, hmm, I wonder why. That's a good question. I have no idea. It's like, why would they close the party store? <laughs> was like, hmm. Okay, good. It's like, hmm. So, does that mean Carly Beth told on him? Carly Beth told on him. Or even crazier is that between the first book and second book, oh, there was an issue. And sadly, when it came to the brother, the brother freaking showed his mom and dad and... Well, as soon as Carly Beth had to spill the beans, that means that maybe a lawsuit or something happened and the freaking party store is now closed because they can't freaking do crap. <laughs> he can't do anything because he got sued. He got freaking sued. But no matter why he got closed, he's closed now. And it's crazy how he doesn't fortify himself because it's like, if you got shoplift a year ago, and I'm pretty sure it's like we have no idea when it comes to the haunted mask, we have no idea how many times he really got shoplifted. It's like for all we know, he could have got shoplifted multiple times, and well, we just hear one incident that happened and not all the other incidents that happened. But I'm pretty sure maybe Carly Beth is the first one. So besides that, we have Steve, and Steve went down, stole a mask, his friend stole a mask too, and they left. So we get the whole blah, 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 and the symbol of love this time does not work, and it's like, huh? But she said the symbol of love works, that's what, that's what it is, the unloved and all that crap. It's like, nope, it's like, this time you actually have to find a suit for that freaking mask, and this time time around the suit actually was a person what the frick <laughs> so that means that every single freaking mask in there has a suit for Romy and that all of those let's just say this is like let's say this is like the episode that means every single face that we saw in the episode and let's just say it was actually a hall of masks well, we get to the crazy part in a minute, but the thing is that let's just say those are people. If those are people, then that means that technically all those masks and suits, they should have just matched all of them so they all can go run wild. But of course, some of them might be monstrous, which is like, no, don't do that. So the best of part about it is that then does that mean the freaking symbol of love was bullcrap, bullcrap? And that this freaking monstrous thing, even though who wants this monstrous bastard to have a freaking damn body? Oh, hell no. <laughs> but it technically means that kind of, sort of, that mask has a freaking suit to go with it, which means, oh, good Lord. <laughs> oh, good Lord. And who really wants to have the mask to show up? And now the mask is actually, and it's funny, but like, yeah, it's just Jim Carrey, but even worse. It's like, yes. So now the mask has a full body and now it can run rampant all nutso. And it's kind of funny. It's like, hmm, maybe that could have been the sequel. That would be interesting. The sequel of where the haunted mask Two, for when it comes to Carly Beth, we take the second book the the actual second book and take that freaking idea and say oh she gave the mask back and then all of a sudden who knows someone actually maybe the mask is still there but lo and behold steve it was a jerk bag and already found a suit for it and now oh crap the mask is live run for your freaking lives now it has a body and now it's framing carly beth 
That would be kind of cool. That would have been a freaking cool sequel. That would be cool. The haunted mask is haunting her life now because it is framing her because everyone remembered previously she was wearing that mask, or at least a few people did. And what's worse is that even the freaking mask is like, I've got a bath. And it's like, what the frick? <laughs> So it's kind of cool where it's like, yeah, the freaking mask is framing her and she has no choice but to try to subdue the mask and also clear her name at the same time. I kind of want to see that book. I kind of want to see that book happen. But of course, nope, we have no idea where the mask is. Maybe the mask is hidden somewhere. The episode did better than the book did where we like we don't know where the mask is screw hey it <laughs> it's like we have no idea where the mask is itself for the freaking brand new universe where like we know where the mask is and it's weird yeah that other universe was weirder and who knows maybe the haunted mask alive that could actually have been the sequel we really wanted to see from goosebumps gold Thanks, Goosebumps Gold, but it doesn't exist now, so we don't know what exactly that one actually plays around. But I'm pretty sure that might have actually had Carly Beth going against the mask yet again, which is like, we kind of needed that. We kind of needed that. So it's kind of weird that that's the weakness to this mask, but not for the other one. And the horrible controversy of if it was, then that means that, oh my goodness, you just released a monster into this freaking damn world. Next is the idea of what's going on with the freaking shopkeep. The shopkeep revealed in the first book, which episode he said, those are my faces and I have to freaking change them all the time because they get rotten because I'm actually a rotten person in the inside and blah, blah, blah. And this time around in this book, in the books, he's a scientist. So that means that this dude, for some reason, is a freaking damn scientist. He closed his party store and what? So... I don't get it. I thought he's like some kind of life form bull crap about the masks. And now he made suits too to go with them. I don't get it. <laughs> it's like, yes, this freaking, this freaking sequel just falls apart when you actually use the first book, which of course, like I said in a previous video, which was revealed, he doesn't like sequels. He doesn't do those well. And as we can see for the most part, he did good, but the thing is, is that the whole twist part that was kind of supposedly funny, it doesn't pan out, especially with the scientist guy who's actually in there. It's like, yeah, the scientist guy's like, oh, get out. It's like, I would have preferred that was a freaking hobo that lived in there. At least when it came to the freaking hobo, at least you mark him out of the equation because the freaking store is abandoned, which, of course, in the episode version the original mask actually found his original owner and went on his face and now he's taken over and it's like oh shit which means the shopkeep is out of the equation and carly beth has to put on that mask to save not only the shopkeep but also steve too yeah i think that's pretty good it's like the episode did a freaking damn marvelous job all this book on the other hand is like well he's a scientist and why didn't he have those masks sealed away? I mean, was he actually truly packing up the place? And it's like, how did it close down? That's the question is like, how did it close down? We don't know. And it's like, if you're a freaking damn scientist, shouldn't all those be in test tubes and then lock and key and everything. But instead, someone's able to sneak into your cellar and go into the basement that freaking easy. And it's like, Man, you have the suckiest freaking laboratory in the world. It's as bad as um Mr. Burns's place. It's like as bad as Mr. Burns's and bad as the I forgot what was the internet one that was in the previous seasons of The Simpsons, where it is like I don't have the key to the room over there, but I have the key to the nerf room that leads into the server system. And it's like, oh, what the freak? <laughs> you know, it's like he can turn off the power, but the funniest part is like the door on the other side. And I'm talking about the power plant, the freaking door on the side that supposed to support it actually is a busted one that anyone can just break into and just turn off the power. And it's like, oh my gosh, or turn it on. Same deal with this guy. It's like, what? The cellar door should have been more fortified. How in the world is it easy to break into? Good Lord. 
And I think that's this is basically the only video I can do because there's nothing else to spin. Yep, that's all I can do. So anyways, have a scary day, have a scary night, and I guess I'll do one more. Maybe. <laughs>